God of War 2018 was a weird mixture of this is the greatest game that I've ever played and somebody, for the love of God, get me a jar of Vaseline. No! No, look at her health bar. Her health bar was so skinny. When God of War first hit the market, everybody and their grandma was foaming at the mouth to get their hands on a copy of it, waiting until midnight in GameStop parking lots for that sweet midnight release party, knowing damn well they had PT at 0530. I mean, not that I did that or anything. Right. Despite all of that anticipation, I played the game for an hour on release night and did not pick it back up again for four whole years. But that all changes today. God of War starts out with Lumberjack Kratos chopping down a tree for his wife's funeral pyre before going on a family vacation with his son and a bag full of his wife's ashes. During the Kratos family vacation, I earned the first 17 trophies for beating the game buying some upgrades, and learning a few extra languages. Now that the vacation is over, the real fun begins, and the best way is to start out by maxing our Spartan Rage and finding all the Minotaur horns hidden in legendary chests of mythical wonder. I mean, I'm... I was getting pretty good at Demon Souls last Saturday, so I, I'm not too worried about it, and I really enjoy it. I've completely given in to the Soulsborne virus after plating Elden Ring. Like, I'm gonna do quick-tempered, baby. Yes! That should be for fully maxing out uh, what is it for? Fully maxed out the Spartan Rage. Spartan Rage is max, baby. Once we have achieved maximum rage nirvana, it's time to piece together two legendary tier armor sets for trophies. One set can be pieced together from the disemboweled remains of traveling warriors. Let's see here. Where shall we begin? I should have enough money to get the the chest armor that we were missing. So what was it again? Ah, the breastplate of the traveler. Path of the zealot. That should be for the traveler armor set. So we've got that trophy knocked out. The other set can be assembled courtesy of the semi-exploded remains of these rock creatures called ancients. Um, the other one should be the Ancients. I should just have the Pauldrons of the Ancients, and that should be another trophy. Which, yeah, I should have enough money. I do. Um, I don't suppose you could try keeping that clean. Oh, shit. I grabbed the wrong... I bought the wrong one. Whoops. I meant the Pauldron of the Ancients. This one. That's the one I meant. Primordial. Obtain ancient armor sets. So we've got both of the armor sets that are required for trophies. So we got those knocked out. Shortly after we create these awesome new armor sets and then store them away in favor of a more sleek tattoo showcasing armor set, we need to explore everywhere in Vithergard. Vithergard is a section in the upper right hand corner of the map chock full of good loot, all guarded by a troll named the Dude Hammer. If you haven't noticed yet, at this point my main goal is to wrap up all the side missions and collect all of the collectibles. That includes ensuring all wayward spirits move on to the great beyond, basically turning Kratos into a soul reaper and netting us another trophy. Off he goes. We've got Want to look for Thorn as the last trophy we got was for peacefully sending souls to the great beyond, but this next one is for bitch slapping a thousand enemies to the fiery depths of hell in the most violent manner possible.
This next trophy is for finding all of the Edun apples and fully upgrading our health bar. Fun fact, these little apples are what the gods eat to sustain their immortality and keep their youthful appearance. Knowing that, I guess that means Odin is more of an oranges over apples type of guy. This trophy is pretty much impossible to miss. I mean, at this point we have explored the entire Lake of Nine and we still don't even have all the collectibles. And we'll pick this up later. Now, don't think that the back half of God of War is nothing but endless collectible hunting and fetch quests because that would only be 85% true. We also get to do some philanthropy or dragonthropy in this case. This next part is very imperative for the Valkyrie runs that we will need to complete later on in order to plat this game. By completing all of Brock and Sindri's favors, we gain access to some sweet dwarven armor that will obviously become a crutch later in the game. Oh. After hours and hours and hours of exploration, we can finally cross off all of the collectibles trophies. All the artifacts. All the Odin's Ravens. All the treasure locations. And all the Jotnar shrines. I'm sure there'll be some stipulations. Like, there's probably gonna be one where it's like, if you get hit once, you die. Ah, here it is. The final Jotnar shrine. So, getting this one right here should be a trophy. Another one here. This one's called Sewer Turn. Must be a fire giant. Aye. Guess Most not. An original. Makes a flaming sword. A weapon of legend. He fights Thor and Odin, but is that the past or the future? Hmm, that may be a matter of perspective. Both? Ah, there it is! The truth! Read all of the Jotnar Shrines. Too easy. The final set of trophies we need for this Platinum are intertwined with one another. We need to complete two realms, starting with Muselheim. Muselheim is the realm of fire and guarded by the fire giant Surtur, but we don't fight him. Instead, we face multiple trials with increasing difficulty that caps off with one of the hardest Valkyrie fights in the entire game. Valkyrie. Careful, lads. The Valkyrie's the last challenge? I wanted to save all the Valkyries for the end, but if it's the last challenge, <laughs> guess I gotta clap her dirty Valkyrie cheeks. Ready yourself. Let's see what happens if I if I just stay aggressive on her. Okay. Not the best strategy ever chosen. Okay, this chick's a little bit harder than I thought. Okay. She has a whole hell of a lot of moves that are unblockable. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you can't just go up and clap her dirty rotten cheeks like I thought I could. This is gonna take a little bit more skill. A few moments later. There it is. That's it, that's it, okay? I'm worthless. Roger, guess what? Gondul, Gondula, whatever the hell you want to call yourself. I've been fighting enemies harder than you for years. Since 2006, 2007, whatever the, uh, the initial release date was. 
get out of there. You thought you could just fly up and escape the fury? Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 there it is. I had her. I had her right there. I freaking had her. More moments later. It doesn't matter. She gets better. Like, she, like, as soon as you figure out one thing, that one tiny little thing that's working for you, she'll just flip a script and be like, nah, fuck you. I'm taking that away. Watch me just clap your dirty scoundrel cheeks. Like, that's exactly what she says. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. There it is! Yes! Finally! Fucking take that! Oh, I'm just gonna rip the wings off your back! Valkyrie no more! You ain't nothing! You ain't nothing! Freedom. Freedom? You have destroyed my physical <laughs> oh, I just wanted to hit this. That's one of my favorite ones. I know it doesn't do a lot of damage, but I love it! Fire and brimstone, baby! Complete all the- Oh, that's not what I want to do. Complete all the trials of Muselheim. Hell yes. Completing Muselheim gives us all the items that we need to completely upgrade the Blades of Chaos. And despite a scare of not knowing how to upgrade them, I finally managed to figure it out. Oh yeah, I was gonna come talk to you about upgrading some blades. Ah! I need a Chaos Flame. Where can I get a Chaos Flame? I thought I could have got it in Muselheim. Do I have to do more challenges? Oh my gosh, I, 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 I don't have it. I should have had it. Hey, nobody's twisting your arm. From killing Gondul. It says that's where you get the final freaking... Oh my goodness. Oh! I had to... Buy it. Okay. I was about to be very, very, very pissed off. Thirsty. Like, extremely. Why fight it? Because we all know that the Blades of Chaos came home to roost, baby. Come to Daddy Kratos. The next realm we need to complete is Niflheim, the realm of mist, ruled by the goddess Hel, which explains the torture maze that encompasses the entire realm. The goal is to collect items by opening chests and finding anchors of fog before returning to Sindri at the entrance. The catch is, if we die, we lose everything. Oh, and we have a mist meter that depletes slowly and acts as a timer. Once it's fully depleted, our health drains faster than if we were playing catch the toaster in the bathtub. Despite this minor annoyance, multiple Niflheim runs will allow us to unlock all the items necessary to fully upgrade the Leviathan Axe. Oh, 
what brings you around, friends? Buy resources. Frozen flame. Upgrade. Leviathan Axe. The final upgrade, baby. We are worthy. Fully upgrade the Leviathan Axe. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yes. And after many, many more strenuous runs, we found enough Anchors of Fog and Hack Silver to open every chest and realm tear in the centermost workshop of Nippelheim. Okay. did it you sealed all three of the realm <laughs> that was actually easy that was the easiest one i've come a long way atreus this was no easy feat you should feel pride i do darkness and fog retrieve all treasures from the workshop's center chamber now all that is left is to kill the remaining valkyries now, the final trophy we need is also the single hardest part of this game. We have to defeat the nine Valkyries, and if the Valkyrie in the Muselheim realm is anything to gauge their skill on, I've got eight more reasons to pick up a drinking habit. Apparently, the Valkyries in Muselheim are just built different because the seven Valkyries scattered around the realms are actually not too tough once you're this far into the game. Now this Valkyrie is more like it. She is not difficult. She is just completely okay with taking a manhandling. The likes of which I don't think she's ever felt. I think it's probably because of the fact that it has to be a quick fight. You don't have... Okay, she can still do damage. She can still do damage. Oh, there it is. Shmoney, baby! One real attempt, the other attempt doesn't count. Okay, I was getting choked out by the mist echoes. Okay, well, okay, she got, she, she hits me with that one right there every time. Where's that health at? There's that health, there's that health. I mean, you, you, she's really not doing any damage. It's not like that other Valkyrie, like one hit was just dead. Okay, that's okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Are you shitting me? No, no! That's okay. That's okay. Cause your boy has a resi stone. And you're quite literally dead because I am gonna do nothing but eviscerate you at this point. You have literally no health. This is infinite health gain for me. I'm just waiting for you to fall the hell over. There it is. And death shall be granted to those who ask for it. Elheim Valkyrie dead. D-E-D -E -D, dead. 
somebody that known somebody who you know had relations with somebody thank you for releasing my physical <laughs> who the hell is this is the grim reaper oh come, come on come on oh there it is there it is right there of me come on really I was gonna say like how do they get to the final little bit and then don't instantly go into that it's kind of bullshit and I guess all you have to do to kill a Valkyrie is rip their wings off yeah she cut that one pretty close to the turd cutter not gonna lie any closer, she might have, you know, given me a Brazilian. There it is. There we go, baby. Oh, first time's a charm. Also, just clapped us some dirty mountain Valkyrie cheeks. We clapped us some Helheim Valkyrie cheeks, some Alfheim Valkyrie cheeks, some Musaline Valkyrie cheeks, some Niflheim Valkyrie cheeks, some dead giant Valkyrie cheeks, and some mountain Valkyrie cheeks. Pain. Yeah, of course we're gonna fight her. Oh, this is the easiest one yet. This is this must be like the baby sister. Okay, come here, Gerd, Gerd, Gerd of the Foothills Valkyrie. Might need to call your sister to come in and bail you out. Come on, here it is. Ah! 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 I think this is the one I beat a long ass time ago because I vaguely remember the blackout thing that she does where you can't see. That's it. Shmoney. There it is, the shmoney shot, baby. Get your dirty Valkyrie cheeks clapped. See you in Helheim. 620 never. When we are prepared, I will attack. Okay, she looks a little bit tougher. I was wrong. I mean, she looks badass. She looks like she's a Denver Donkeys fan. Okay, so that's your superpower. Awesome. You can summon people. Okay, there we go. Come on. There it is. Come on. There it is, come on, right here, right here. Oh yeah! Oh, this chick doesn't even do any damage. 
She relies way too much. Way too much on her homies. There it is right there. Oh, I just I just beat the health cluster out of you, girl. Just beat the health cluster out of you. Oh, give me them damn wings. You don't deserve them damn wings. After mopping the floor with the rest of the Valkyries, I was feeling pretty confident. But as confident as I was in my abilities as the God of War, my confidence was not nearly enough when facing the final Valkyrie. me there it is no gosh damn it I get her down to that final little nick every time and she's just like nah not feeling it not feeling it today bro you ain't taking me down today bro Damn it. I get her so close every time. Oh, the last freaking melon. No, no, look at her health bar. Her health bar was so skinny. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was doing so good. So good. After hours and hours and hours of pain and frustration and getting the feeling like I would be crying myself to sleep tonight, this finally happened. Yes! Yes! Get fucking wrecked! Get fucking wrecked! We clapped Helheim cheeks! We clapped Elfheim cheeks! We clapped Muselheim cheeks! We clapped Niflheim cheeks! We clapped dead giant Midgard cheeks! We clapped freaking mountain Midgard Valkyrie cheeks! Midgard Pluto Valkyrie cheeks! Which is trained Valkyrie cheeks and the queen Valkyrie bitches cheeks! How did this happen? Mimir, is that you? You have been freed, but... That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's pick up this bitch's nugget and get our platinum trophy. Come to daddy. Come to fucking daddy. Give me that sweet, sweet. Bling. Where is it? Well, we did it. I Chooser suppose. of the slain. Well, very happy about it. Father it's and son. To be happy about anything when you're a reanimated head. Obtain all other and trophies. We, able to we finally. Free. Freaking did it. Been avoided. Only kind of lost my voice in the process. It does not matter. And that's a wrap on God of War, a platinum trophy that was literally four years in the making. If you like this video and you want to see another platinum trophy run, click here. If you want to see this entire playthrough, click over here.